What is activated charcoal? It's everywhere and supposedly life changing, but is it worth it? Or is there some secret that you need to know about? Activated charcoal has become a very big trend in health and wellness in the last few years. It's hard to escape an Instagram feed or Facebook feed without spotting someone brushing their teeth with what looks to be dirt or even those satisfying peel off masks. From toothpaste to detox drinks, you can find activated charcoal on many grocery store aisles. Unlike regular charcoal, which is commonly used for grilling, water filtration and art, Activated charcoal is oxidized, increasing its porosity and surface area. But does it live up to all the hype? Are there benefits to it? What are the risks? Who should be taking it? How do you take it? Is it the newest fad or is it here to stay? Today I'm going over all of that. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doctor. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, that way you're informed on the latest medical information out there. So you typed into Google, what is activated charcoal? You're not alone in that. Activated charcoal has many uses from treating intestinal gas, high cholesterol, hangovers, upset stomach, and most recently being integrated into the cosmetic industry, serving as a teeth whitener and pore unclogging miracle. However, did you know that these activated charcoal products could also be some major drama for your daily life? Stay with me, because I'm going to let you know a little activated charcoal secret. And today I'm here to give you all your need to know facts about this new trendy health supplement. Activated charcoal is made by burning natural carbon rich materials such as bamboo, wood, coconut shells, olive pits, or coal in low oxygen concentrations. This process extracts hydrogen, methane, and tar from the material, reducing its weight and creating a black, mostly carbon substance. The remaining charcoal substance is activated by steaming it at very high temperatures or mixing it with chemical substances to eliminate any remaining non-carbon elements. Activated charcoal is not new to the scene. Activated charcoal has actually been used as a poison antidote since the early 1800s. Thanks to its toxin binding properties, activated charcoal is often used in the ER to treat prescription drug overdoses as well as overdoses of over-the-counter medications like aspirin, acetaminophen, and sedatives. The rule of thumb is that people typically take 10 times more charcoal than whatever it is they're trying to absorb. In the ER, a typical dose of activated charcoal is 50,000 milligrams. The average Joe, however, can buy activated charcoal supplements online or in health stores in 250 milligram and 500 milligram capsules. A black juice has about 10 milligrams of charcoal in it. It is important to note that activated charcoal is not effective in all cases of poisonings. For instance, it appears to have little effect on alcohol, heavy metal, iron, lithium, potassium, acid, or alkali poisonings. What's more, experts warn that activated charcoal should not be routinely administered in all cases of poisoning. As always, of course, please contact 911 or the Poison Control Center if any emergent situation arises. How does it work? Activated charcoal works by trapping toxins and chemicals in the gut, preventing their absorption. The charcoal's porous texture has a negative electric charge, which causes it to attract positively charged molecules, such as toxins and gases. In other words, this helps it trap toxins and chemicals in the gut. Because activated charcoal is not absorbed by your body, it can carry the toxins bound to its surface out of your body in feces. Activated charcoal's negatively charged porous texture helps trap toxins, preventing your body from absorbing them. I know what you are thinking. Can I just stir up some coal that I use to light my barbecue next time I have a hangover? Absolutely not. While both can be made from the same base materials, Charcoal briquettes have not been activated at high temperatures, and they contain additional substances that are toxic to humans. Are there other uses for activated charcoal? Activated charcoal is also popular among the cosmetic and the DIY community with multiple uses. Though it is important to note that not all of these are supported by science. So let's break down a few. Number one, dental hygiene. Activated charcoal is commonly known as an all-natural teeth whitener. Some people like to brush their teeth with a wet toothbrush dipped in activated charcoal powder to whiten teeth and improve oral health. However, there are no definitive studies that back this claim. Some think the charcoal will absorb the plaque and the substances 
that cause stains while changing the pH balance in the mouth, which can help prevent cavities and gum disease. It can also cause tooth sensitivity, so don't brush with activated charcoal more than three times per week. Number two, activated charcoal and skincare. Skincare and acne treatment are among the most popular uses of activated charcoal. Charcoal face masks are used to clear dirt and toxins out of pores. Charcoal cleansers are used to absorb surface oils and clean the skin. It is also commonly used as a paste to treat acne, insect bites, or stings. Just like with medications and other supplements we might ingest, activated charcoal cannot distinguish between good and bad substances. This means it absorbs both healthy and unhealthy oils from the skin. To prevent the skin from becoming too dry or depleted of healthy oils and vitamins, each of these treatments should only be used once or twice per week and in combination with proper replenishing ingredients. Some other pros of taking activated charcoal? Number one, activated charcoal may help promote kidney function by reducing the number of waste products that the kidneys have to filter. This could be particularly beneficial in patients suffering from chronic kidney disease, a condition in which the kidneys can no longer properly filter waste products. Healthy kidneys are normally very well equipped to filter your blood without any additional help. However, patients suffering from chronic kidney disease generally have a harder time removing urea and other toxins from their body. Activated charcoal may have the ability to bind to urea and other toxins, helping your body eliminate them. However, current evidence is preliminary and more high quality studies are needed before strong conclusions can be made. Please consult your doctor before taking. Number two, reduces symptoms of fish odor syndrome. Activated charcoal may help reduce unpleasant odors in individuals suffering from trimethylaminuria, TMAU, also known as fish odor syndrome. TMAU is a genetic condition in which trimethylamine, TMA, a compound with an odor similar to that of rotting fish, accumulates in your body. Healthy individuals are usually able to convert fishy smelling TMA into a non-smelly compound before excreting it into urine. However, people with TMAU lack the enzyme needed to perform this conversion. This causes TMA to accumulate in the body and make its way into the urine, sweat, and breath, giving rise to foul, fishy odor. Studies show that activated charcoal's porous surface may help bind small, odorous compounds like TMA, increasing their excretion. Number three, another possible plus side of activated charcoal. Activated charcoal may also help reduce cholesterol levels. That's because it can bind cholesterol and cholesterol-containing bile acids in the gut, preventing the body from absorbing them. In one study, taking 24 grams of activated charcoal per day for four weeks lowered total cholesterol by 25% and bad LDL cholesterol by 25%. Good HDL cholesterol levels also increased by 8%. Another study taking four to 32 grams of activated charcoal daily helped to reduce total and bad LDL cholesterol by 29 to 41% in those with high cholesterol levels. In this study, the larger doses of activated charcoal seem to have the most effect. Similar results were reported in most, but not all studies. However, it's interesting to note that all studies related to this topic were conducted in the 1980s. More recent studies would help confirm the link. I know what you're probably thinking. Are there cons or any negatives to activated charcoal? Yes, the secret I was telling you about earlier. There are cons to using activated charcoal. Here's the deal. Charcoal isn't a discriminating detoxifier either. It will absorb vitamins, minerals, and medications alike. This includes antidepressants, birth control pills, over-the-counter painkillers, anti-epileptics, beta blockers and antiarrhythmic drugs, medications for diabetes, and even steroids from the asthma inhalers. Charcoal's large porous surface area means it has more space to soak up nearby molecules. By absorbing drugs or toxins in the stomach, charcoal prevents them from being absorbed into the bloodstream. Again, this could be a positive thing if someone has overdosed on a drug, but not so with good maintenance medications that you may be taking on a daily basis. Is activated charcoal safe? Activated charcoal is considered safe in most cases, and adverse reactions are said to be infrequent and rarely severe. That said, it may cause some unpleasant side effects, the most common of which are nausea and vomiting. When activated charcoal is used as an emergency antidote for poisonings, there's a risk that it can travel into the lungs rather than the stomach. This is especially true if the person receiving it vomits or is drowsy or semi-conscious. Moreover, 
Activated charcoal may even worsen symptoms in individuals with a rare genetic disease affecting the skin, gut, and nervous system. Also, in very rare cases, activated charcoal has been linked to bowel blockages or holes. And as I mentioned before, it is also worth mentioning again that activated charcoal may also reduce the absorption of certain medications. Therefore, individuals taking medications should consult their healthcare professional prior to taking it. Activated charcoal does have its uses and is usually safe to ingest, but it may not live up to the miraculous claims that some companies are marketing. In the case of drug poisonings, it's important to seek medical help immediately. If you're interested in trying activated charcoal, please make sure you follow the dosage instructions and consult with your primary care physician or pharmacist if you're taking any daily maintenance medications. Interestingly, it may have the potential to lower cholesterol, treat poisoning, reduce gas, and promote kidney function. However, the studies supporting these benefits tend to be weak, and many other benefits linked to activated charcoal are not supported by science. Keep this in mind when deciding whether to give activated charcoal a try. All right, that's been a quick charcoal conversation with me, Dr. Wagner. Let me know in the comments if you've used activated charcoal and did it work for you. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Also, you can write me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter as well. I'll be sure to respond there as well. As always, please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. That way you're alerted when I post a new video. All right, thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.